you're kind of hitting them out of the ballpark with your questions today. Um, okay, one of the questions we get occasionally is what about multiple sclerosis and the gastric bypass? And for years, for over a decade, uh, multiple sclerosis patients would call me and I would say, I don't know. And I would say, see what your neurologist, the specialist in that area says, and we never went any further than that. Um, about, how long has it been since Jackie's surgery? Um, it'll be two years this month, I think it's April. Two years, yeah. yeah so two different. years ago, we operated on a patient with uh, pretty significant multiple sclerosis, and we consulted with his local medical doctor and his specialist in neurology at UCLA, and they both agreed that the danger from his obesity was higher to his health than a slight risk that might occur with a bypass. So we did operate on a patient with multiple sclerosis, and since that two years, he's had no recurrence of any symptoms of the multiple sclerosis, and his doctor and his neurologist have uh, discontinued him from any follow-up for multiple sclerosis unless something else appears, according to him, and they feel and they have written me that they think it was a tremendous benefit to him uh, from his multiple sclerosis standpoint because he has less weight to move around. He's lost over 200 pounds. And uh, you can see his videos. He's on the front page of our website. His name is Jackie Bertone. He's a, a pretty famous uh, drummer. He uh, used to uh, play for the Beach Boys. And so uh, he's had a tremendous success. So we're now open to talking about um, MS patients with the neurologist and see what they think. We're still not 100% certain because we don't have thousands of people like that. We have just one, uh, but the neurologist and his doctor both feel it was reasonable ahead of time and now are confirmed they think it was a very good decision for him and his health post-op as well. And again, the nice thing about the MGB is let's suppose it should be a negative in some way. We can always undo it if it were to be uh, something that harmed the patients that helped them. But right now our guess is that it's a reasonable thing to consider pending the advice of the patient's neurologist.